Hey there, it's the Wind Boom, and I just want to let you guys know I'm not an angry Call of Duty gamer. I am not one of those guys that's turning on Call of Duty. I am a critical FPS gamer. If you printed that out and put it on a badge and wore it, you'd be sure to never have sex or find love again, so be sure to not do that. Either way, I have to talk about Black Ops 3 constructively. Black Ops 3, to me, has gotten progressively worse since launch and way worse since the beta. Here are a couple of prime examples. Now first I'll get the subjective shit out of the way that you guys don't care about. I have been coming across a lot of glitches, a lot of slow loading textures, a lot of bugs, a lot of issues, and um, one of the bugs in particular, and if you guys want me to go test for this and actually capture it on gameplay, I will, and I will slow it down and show you guys, but there seems to be a glitch where if I shoot somebody and they shoot me while I'm shooting at them, get this, gets a little complicated, my gun mimics the fire rate of the person shooting me. So, if you guys have this glitch, please tell me, it, it'd mean a lot that I'm not going crazy here. Because I've gone after people with, uh, let's say, the Gorgon, and I've hit them with the Gorgon. They hit me with a Vesper, and then I hear my Gorgon go, do, 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 and it'll kick up, and it's not okay. It makes the gunfight jarring and glitchy, I swear it drops frames, it's not good. Alright, since the beta also, in the beta there was no screen tearing, there was no fuzzy imaging, I, I don't know. It just felt like a better optimized game than the actual launch version. In the in the beta, apparently the PS4 had some frame rate issues and some screen tearing. Alright, well the Xbox One version didn't. Now at launch, the PS4 fixed their issues and the Xbox One got more frame rate issues and extra screen tearing and slower loading textures. I don't know how that happened, but it hasn't been resolved and it hasn't even been talked about in the community, except as a passing, yeah that sucks, and that's horseshit. I paid $60 for a game and it doesn't work 100%, and hell, most games these days don't work 100%, but I mean Advanced Warfare had no trouble running on the Xbox One, neither did Ghost. Well, Ghost wasn't great because it was a launch title. But you could name a hundred Call of Duty games that don't have the problems that Black Ops 3 has. I have talked to developers on Twitter and they said this, this is the biggest Call of Duty they've ever done in terms of like texture quality and stuff. And so most of the con like every platform has trouble. My friends have really good gaming computers and they have trouble with their textures. My friend has a PS4 and he has trouble loading textures. It just doesn't, it just, the game's not optimized and it needs to be. Alright, but let's get into something a little bit more, I don't know, important? When it comes to problems with Black Ops 3, I think a lot of us would say that the supply drops need to fucking go, or they need to change drastically. I don't care about the contracts or the weekly contracts. 40 crypto keys for doing those challenges. I mean, I mean, I get it. Obviously, it's more than 40. You have the potential to get 70 crypto keys from daily challenges, and then plus 30. So, oh boy, look at that. That's 100 crypto keys. 100 crypto keys. That's not bad. 100 crypto keys in a week. Although you can get 100 crypto keys in a week anyway, you could basically mean, you could say, oh, you get 200 crypto keys. But the thing is, is that rare supply drops cost 30, so you're fucked. You can buy six, uh, maybe seven, if you get some nice returns. It, it's just horseshit. I, I hate the whole system. Either way, and regardless, the supply drop system is broken as hell. I mean, you have you have such low drop rate for weapons and cool character gear. It, it's just an overall flop of a system. Um, next, we have. The unmistakable lag that has gotten progressively worse. And I've asked Drifter, and he plays on PS4, and he has way better internet than I do, and he says he has the exact same problem. Ace does on Xbox and PS4. My friends do on Xbox, PS4, and PC. The fucking lag. Lag pisses me off to no end because back, especially this lag, I should say this lag pisses me off to no end because when BF4 was a laggy piece of shit, when Battlefield 4 was a laggy piece of shit, the community turned on EA and DICE and said, fix your game, fix your game, fix your game, give me refund unless you fix your game, fix your game, fix your game. And this happened forever. Reddit, Twitter, YouTube, wherever you were, the game was being ripped to fucking shreds. Now, Black Ops 3 has consistent lag spikes and lag drops and frame drops and, you know, uh, connection interrupted almost every game. I was watching uh, Drifter stream the other day, and he was getting lag spikes and, and connection interrupted. It's nothing to do with Xbox or PS4. It's everything to do with fucking Black Ops. Black Ops 3 just doesn't fucking run well. The lag is unbearable. The frame rate drops more than any other Call of Duty, and I thought that was impossible after playing Stonehaven Ghost on Xbox One, after playing Advanced Warfare. I thought those were the worst frame rates I was ever going to feel in a Call of Duty. Black Ops 3 reminded me different, whereas almost every gunfight, I can swear I can hear the sound of a frame dropping every time. I swear to God. Not to mention the screen tearing and the and the slow loading textures. That stuff is horseshit. I did a whole video on that. That did pretty well. I might do another video um, talking about how I fixed it. 
because I didn't, and I want to make a point. I don't know, maybe that's stupid. Okay, so the last big point here, to not make this video an hour and a half long, the last big point that makes Black Ops 3 one of the worst Call of Duties since launch. I mean, from launch, it was good, it's gotten progressively worse, is what I'm saying. The thing that's made it progressively worse for me is the content. Between supply drop bullshit and bad DLC, I, I just don't see any reason to keep signing on and playing. All they've given us is contracts, two DLC packs, and a bunch of supply drop weapons. Not exactly impressed. Let's look at other Call of Duty games content. MW3, wait, no, let's go further back. Black Ops 1 gave us interactable environments, interesting and obscenely weird maps like Berlin Wall and uh, what was that one map with the zip line, uh, like Calhoun or something? You could, you're on the rooftops at night. If you guys remember what that map was, maybe I'm completely imagining this, but Black Ops 3 had a DLC map where you're on this rooftop at night, it's raining, and you could use the zip line. It was so cool. Such an innovative map, way ahead of its time. Modern Warfare 3 gave us the free face-off maps, a free copy, or not free copy, but a free download of the Terminal remake, and that was awesome. That's three free maps, a new game mode, uh, they also added a ton of community game modes like Drop Zone, Money in the Dank, and others like Infection. Go forward to Ghosts, and because Black Ops 2 didn't have a ton of stuff either. Oh wait, no, Black Ops 2 did. Black Ops 2 gave us the Peacekeeper. I almost forgot. Also, some of the best Zombies maps we've ever had. Okay, going forward to Ghosts. Now let's look at Call of Duty Ghosts. Well, we have the Maverick, the Ripper, or the Maverick Sniper and Sorrowful, and the Ripper. You could also buy those separately, which was nice if you didn't really want to buy all the DLC packs. Also, you had... Uh, Michael Myers, Predator, the Mariachi Band, uh, so many interesting and intricate maps, with interactable environments and destructible things. Just, the DLCs were exciting in Ghost. The, at least for me personally, the Ghost DLC packs always brought new life and that's just not feeling it with Black Ops 3. Advanced Warfare did the best with DLC because Advanced Warfare, to me, was the worst game out of the series. But yet it's DLC, it gave us the AE4, the OHM, grappling hooks, we got the M1 irons for free, we got free elite weapons at times. There was just a lot of stuff to it, and the maps were exciting and innovative, and they changed up the flow. Like, they were different than the base maps. They didn't feel like they could be base maps, they were different, they were intricate, and I loved them. Maybe this isn't a selling point for all of you guys, but it kind of is to me just because it was a surprise. They added in Exo Zombies for DLC. That's pretty cool. It wasn't great. But they didn't have to do it at all, and the fact that they did it was pretty awesome. Black Ops 3 is delivering, just with their DLC packs, okay zombies maps that I'm not, you know, nobody's really freaking out about after like a week and they've already completed all the easter eggs or watched someone else complete the easter eggs. Um, there's no guns. It's just boring three lane static maps with no interactable environments. The textures load in usually pretty slowly on them, and again, how, would it really kill Treyarch and Activision to get together and say, hey, let's give the players a gun of their choosing? Or every month give out a free gun? This month's free gun is the MX Grand. If you only have the M if you already have the MX Grand, take 200 crypto keys instead. I don't know, fuck it, that'd be awesome. Well, instead, we all we've really gotten of note is the contracts. And the contracts, to me, are kind of bullshit. Like, they're just, they just encourage tryhards to play for wins. And unless you play with a team of people or you're an insane guy, those really can frustrate you. I have to get 15 objective game mode wins and after playing for three days, well not three days straight obviously, but three day play set, three different play sessions across three days, I've gotten nine wins because I keep coming across clans and full teams and groups of friends and I don't play with tryhards, I don't, I'm not a tryhard myself, I like to try out different weapons and do things, but I can't, I can't play objective modes this week because all I will come across is fucking full teams and that's hard to beat. And it's a sweaty fucking tryhard fest, and I don't want to deal with that every match. No one does. It's a casual game. Or the challenge is like, get 100 wit, get 100 kills or something. It's like, why not do something more interesting? Like, get 10 headshots with a recon sight on an SMG or something. Why does it have to be, get 100 kills? Are you really that out of ideas, Treyarch, honestly? And why not just, if you're not going to give us weapons, might as well give us a 10th specialist. Oh, you're giving us a 10th specialist for an hour if we complete a weekly challenge? Oh, cool. Fuck you. I was hoping for a 10th specialist, a genuinely new specialist with different weapons and abilities. Um, that'd be awesome. Or at least release all these weapons for like five bucks. Five bucks gets you all the weapons or something like that. They have no monetary value anyway. That five bucks is fucking pushing it for a $60 game with $50 season pass to fucking expect you to grind your fucking brain out for, for nothing. 
for nothing, for the chance of something. You're gambling in a game you paid 60 fucking dollars on. That's worse than Destiny. That's right, now there's Destiny gameplay on the screen. I've been enjoying Destiny because since launch, Bungie actually had to open up their ears and go, fuck, people are bored of our game. It isn't as big as they wanted it to be, so here you go. For a low price, you can get the Taken King, both expansions, and the base game itself. And to be honest, it's an insanely awesome game now. I love playing Destiny now. Destiny is one of the most exciting games to play for me right now. There's so much stuff. It's so exciting. It's so... Ah, I want to go play it right now. Me and my girlfriend have been having a ton of fun playing it. It's extremely awesome. Uh, maybe it's not, it's not for you if you don't like grindy games, but it's so intense now. There's so many new enemies and new things that happen. Instead of just like grinding on these like semi-open worlds, now there's events that happen on these worlds that are way more powerful than just defend this objective. It's like, it's like a new game. It's like a new, more intense game. Uh, if you guys have seen any gameplay of Doom or watched my gameplay of Doom, hopefully you guys saw that. Um, it's kind of like that. Like, the new Destiny thing reminds me of that. It's just more and more enemies, crazy abilities, crazy weapons, just awesome stuff. Like, I play Destiny a lot. I played it till to completion on the vanilla game. And now, picking up later for Xbox One, because I played it all on 360, picking up later on Xbox One with the DLC, it's like playing an entirely different game with the same charm, and I fucking love it. Also, Destiny hasn't gotten progressi progressively less optimized or laggy. The only thing missing for Destiny right now is maybe a PC port. That'd be awesome if that happened, like a cross-platform PC port. Mm, that'd make that game perfect. Either way, I don't think any developers will, but if any developers do see this from Infinity Ward, please make sure you put content in your game that makes me want to play and not want makes me want to pull my fucking hair out. Add guns for free and free maps. Everyone's doing it. Titanfall's gonna have free DLC. Halo has free DLC. Even though it's pretty shoddy and no one cares about it, it's still fucking free. It still gets the community together to play the game. And that's what fucking DLC should be about. Not not squeezing out an extra fucking $15 from everyone. We already, we already paid more than we should have for your fucking game that we're all gonna play for a year anyway. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys like my content. If you do like this video, why do I not have like a back thing, like a back card where it's like, uh, shows all my social media links and stuff? Because fuck it, if you like me, you'll look that up on your own. The whole notion of like, uh, uh, having like an end slate where it's like, subscribe to this and subscribe to this and follow me here and like me here. It's like, no, if, they, if you like me, you'll look up the one boom on Twitter. You'll follow the link that I have down in the description or up on my channel to my Twitter. And you'll you'll talk to me on there or something. I don't fuck it. I hate people that have like the subscribe, watch this video or this video. It, what are you telling people to do? You're gonna watch my content or you're not gonna watch my content. I don't fucking care. Oh, I do care if you watch it. I just mean like I'm not. I don't fucking care about like shoving it down your throat. I I don't know. Either way, this is the end of the video. If you guys couldn't tell already, if you guys have been subscribed for long enough, you know I'm terrible at outros, and the video could end any minute. Just kidding, obviously it didn't end because I didn't say goodbye. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any feedback about this video or about Black Ops 3 or how games get progressively worse or better, leave it down in the comment section below. If you stayed for 13 fucking minutes, stand up, move around, go get some food or something. I don't know, wash your hands. That was weird. Anyway, I'll see you when I see you. Goodbye. Wash your hands. <laughs>